informative news. After displaying forbidden Diana footage, Prince William became furious with Meghan and Harry. But before we continue, are you interested in starting or scaling a YouTube channel without having to show your face or becoming a traditional YouTuber to earn $30,000 a month? Click on the link below for more information. According to sources close to the heir to the throne, William would be dismayed if his brother used the film of Diana that he had requested not be shown again. The Prince of Wales, according to sources close to him, will be incensed that video from a notorious interview with Diana, Princess of Wales, conducted by veteran BBC journalist Martin Bashir was used in Harry and Meghan's upcoming Netflix docuseries. The 1995 television programme, according to earlier comments by Prince William, should never be rebroadcast. William would be dismayed, according to sources close to him, that his brother had blatantly defied his wishes, and another source claimed that it shows just how little regard there is from the Sussex camp. One source stated to the Mirror, William will be indignant over it, and with good reason. He has always been very clear, and he would have believed that Harry and he shared this viewpoint. Sadly, it demonstrates once more how great the gap between the two brothers is. This morning, three of the documentary's three episodes were available to stream on Netflix. The first episode's midpoint features video of Diana speaking in the contentious Panorama interview. Especially in that interview with Panorama. I believe that everyone now realizes that she was tricked into agreeing to the interview. She shared the truth about her experience while at the same time, though. William further remarked, My opinion is that my mother's statements were significantly impacted by the dishonest means in which the interview was collected. My parents' relationship was significantly harmed by the interview, which has now harmed countless others. Knowing that the BBC's shortcomings largely contributed to her anxiety, paranoia, and isolation that I remember from those final years with mom gives an unfathomable pain. The Duke of Sussex expressed his deep concern that Mr. Bashir's methods of journalism were widespread today and extended beyond one outlet, one network, or one publication. A culture of abuse and immoral actions finally stole her life, he said. To the royal family, the BBC issued an apology. Tim Davey, the director general of the BBC, swore that the channel would never air the program again or grant a license to any broadcaster. Royal experts quickly identified the footage's usage. Tweeted Robert Jobson, in a at Netflix documentary, Prince Harry used video from the hash Diana Panorama interview. After the Dyson report, Prince William stated that it should not be broadcast again. A culture of exploitation and unethical practices ultimately took her life, Harry claimed. Tweeted Dickie Arbiter, why was footage from the interview with Diana Panorama allowed to be used in a documentary on Netflix? Twenty minutes into the first episode, Hash Harry discusses his mother and likens Hash Meghan to his mother, saying she possesses the same warmth, passion, and self-assurance. In the meantime, Netflix has given viewers a sneak peek at the second volume of the contentious docuseries starring the Duke and Duchess of Sussex. They appear to be discussing the couple's choice to leave the kingdom, known as Megxit, and eventually emigrate to the US, according to a teaser that runs for 30 seconds at the end of the third episode. They've decided to take a step back from their royal duties, a voice can be heard saying. This is when a family and a family business are in direct conflict, Meghan continues, addressing the camera. Everything that has occurred to us was always going to happen, Harry continues. He makes this remark in response to newspaper and Buckingham Palace images that are flashing across the screen. It suddenly occurred to me that it will never stop, Meghan continues. Harry concludes the teaser by saying, at this point, there was no other choice. We need to leave here, I yelled. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's royal title is being threatened, but King Charles won't support it. The King has rejected an MP's attempts to grant the monarch the authority to revoke the titles of Harry, Meghan, and other royals. Despite repeated calls for punishment from the media and the public, a change in the law allowing the couple to lose their titles as Duke and Duchess of Sussex would require an act of Parliament. Thanks.